It's the mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Hey, not everything that glitters is gold. Everything that's white is snow. On the mindset, I just start let them know, let them know, let them know. Oh, words from the wise. I just start. You'll never die. Stand tall, you will never die, will forever shine. I the star, shine like the star in the sky. Some hate, some love. May I tell you? I tell you, it's red, my brother. Red, Papa, red. Another, another, another prolific song from the eye. Zane, um, I was listening to the eye and I interviewed the other night, and you know, the eye was saying that you know you are more of a a, a cultural reggae artist but the eye can take the dance uh, to a different level i don't want to quote the eye wrong still but i think you know that that is what the eye was saying yeah man clear man i understand because we have that ability to, to do that you know and that's where we started out as a youth you know? but we make a choice to stand up and sing culture music you understand so i was explaining that to my bridging because they was asking why i sing a song like book a sexy black girl in a Kingston city. So me say, when I went, I was on tour for a time and I go to Jamaica, went out, go to Stone Love and we're there in the dance. And at that time, it's just be a vibes cartel and move out a play. Shoot, shoot after each other, the war are gone. When you look, every youth, you see a step out in the camera, gun finger, man, a pint. And the ladies start go to the club at night time. So you know, guy dance at night time, the dance and start, start woman at a club. So I said to myself, you know, this this a kill the dance vibes. Yes. This is how I make a song like this now, because every girl are bleaching and dancing, you know, bleach and feel like you know hot. So when me say book a sexy black girl, you can't walk out if you're not a black girl. You know, feel so proud if you're not a black girl. If you know feel proud of as being a black girl, you're not yes. gonna walk out in a year, book a sexy black girl. Yes, you understand? Sir. So yes, it, it, it is to re empower back the black woman them in Jamaica for show them. Say, listen, you know, if you bleach, man, you still have man out the way I look by you. I'm proud of you. Proud black woman, man. Yes, sir. You understand? And when you hear a song like that now, Walt Waller and T's are, you can't walk out on no camera. And you know, Waller and Pana Girl. Now, four or five men can't run out on no camera, pint no finger on a man's face. It's not that I kind of move. God. <laughs> you understand? So it. It come and change the dance, my brother. Yes, sir. Change back the dance. Put back a momentum in the dance. You see, you understand? Woman can start dance again. Get back on the dance floor. Because when man go to dance and woman go to dance and nobody have fun. When a man left dance, man angry. You know? Something may go happen, you know. May you grow up in Jamaica, we understand how, how, how culture is. Yeah, man. You understand? A man book a girl and I dance and him and him girl feel good and him get all a number or she go and home and him talk to her while him go. Him never got program nothing. So it's like idle hands, idle time. Well, why you go if you go tonight and man a show off for man and girl a show off for girl. So dance hall is not that. Dance hall is a place where you work hard and you go to have some fun and go back to your yard and say, well, I hear them new music and I like them and the vibes. So once woman not having fun in the dance, what's going to happen to dance hall? Thing, mash up, man. Yeah, so this is why I sing a song like this, and that's why it is such an anthem still today in the dance hall. Because if selector come to me and tell me DJ in the dance, I go in the world and that now go on. Once me go so pam, 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 the dance change. <laughs> you understand? So yes. the, it, as just when you do something with your intention, it, it, it work. You don't do it because. You understand? It's not like I want to do dance hall and me run down every dance hall already, man. Yeah, more out there at. That's not what it is, man. Me go many places in the world I beg people beg me sing teaser. <laughs> and tell the B-boy, your girl, come out, boy, you, you know, sing me song and, and this is how me sing it. So it's not like something where, you understand? Yeah, the it... last time I do Sunfest, is the people remind me some of sing teaser when me done come off of the stage and everything done to me show. Yes, I. You understand? So, we, because remember, you know, we praise Emperor Haile Selassie, I the first. First, yes. And I. this is what the world have to know. Emperor Haile Selassie, I, out of every king, if there's another king who has done that, I don't know, but I've never read about it. Anybody have that information, I would like to know. 
But Emperor Selassie is the only king when it's time for him to crown himself. If you're not crowning Queen Amiga, if you're not crowning Empress Men and don't crown I, he is the only king that crowned with a queen together. Yeah, man. Every other king say, yeah, he may a king and yeah, yeah, queen, but he never crowned him together. No, not at all. We don't see that in our history. It's the only history so, I alone. So that's what I know, Papa. So if there's another history book about something else, and somebody can share it with the Rasta community and make me get a, a well, that's what I know. But so, so far, I mean, I have no other information. That's the only man I've, I've known in history. Emperor Ailey Selassie, that stand up for his queen. You understand? Uh, so that's what we learn as the goddess, my lad. Equal. Balance. Equal strength with the king and the queen. 50-50. Behind every good man, there's a good man. That's the equal power, my lad. That create life. The balance. That's what we learn. That's our African teaching. So that's what Rastafari culture teach I and I growing up as a youth. So I will always stand up for Queen Amiga. Rastafari powers. All right, Bobo. There is a um, international recording artist for many years now. Zin. And um, there I recently put out a book. Zin. And it's good that there I even speak about the balance and thing. They I recently put out a book. You know, we, we hardly find. Reggae artist putting out book, but they I put out a book. Um, title, or the title of the book, I know. The secret, the secret to, to a man's art. To a man's art, yes, I. Yeah. All right, talk to me a little bit about the book. I will know say um, I will know say right now the woman them really were interested. The woman them mostly interested in this than anything right now. Well, I want to say about this book. My intention of writing this book is to create what we call conversational pieces again between a king and his queen. You understand? Because 90% of the time what I realize now is that when a woman I talk about her man is with her friend. So she gets a couple of sisters and them sit down together and but why you know the man I do this and the man I do this and it's likewise like our bridging and bridging might sit down and Jan women love how the girl are moving up. But they like oh. So 90% of the time, these conversational piece, we only have conversation in the, what you call it, or the inception, when a man a look at a woman. Mm. You understand? So within the relationship, the conversation start up with friends. So the relationship between each other break down now and it move over to... Friends. Yes. Because now you no longer go home. If you have a problem with mommy, you know, come in and sit down and you're not talking about it. You tell the bridge in John Mosta, you know, the girl I've got like, to man for idiot. And she now call her friend. You know what I'm saying? You understand? So yes. this is what the book is about, my brother. For a man and woman to have conversational peace. You understand? So it's a book that don't make the Empress read it and you don't read it. Make sure you read it too. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I. Yeah, I stand because she gotta say certain things that you want to know what to what to say to. See, so this is what it is. So, it's it's a book I take a couple of years. Well, it's been a few years that I sit, I've been writing it, sit, put it together, and talk with a lot of people. And yes. you understand. So, if a woman really want to be happy in a relationship, you can read this book. That's what I can say. You understand? There's a lot of facts in it. There's a lot of insights in it. You understand? There's a lot of medan. It's a seven step. You understand book. Yes, so right. it have seven steps. If you go through these seven steps and follow them correctly, then I guess you can get the key, you know. All right. Well, don't give them too much, you know, you have to, you know what I mean? Give them too much yeah, information. Eh? Yeah, so where them can so where them can find the book? Well, the book is available on Amazon worldwide, worldwide. Find your, click on Amazon. It's available in ebook form and paperback form. You understand? So you can if it's a collect a book and like to get your hard copy to read it. It's there too. You understand? And the ebook format can be downloaded on any any smart devices. Android, iPhone, iPad, Kindle, anything. You understand? So it's available yes, now. Just click the link and get it. Rastafari. Yeah man, now we have to support each other because that's what Marcus Garvey teaches us you know, and that's what they teach him. True. Marcus said we have to build amongst ourselves. You know. We have to write with one chronicles and you know, create with one saints and you know, write with one history. You know. It's time now you know, and 
them always tell us growing up that anything you want to hide from the black man and the black people, you put it in a book. So we can't let that become factual in a time of information. We have to start reading and know. For real. You understand? So we have to get this out to the Rasta community and all my Rasta brethren and kings and queens and sisters. You understand? You need to have a copy of this book. Support the Rasta brethren. And you don't know. Authorship is a part of what we have to be. We have to write our own stories. We can't let people write it for us. Because that's the big problem. A lot of what we are hearing about our own race coming from the mouth of another person. So sometimes it's so unbelievable. So that's yeah, you know, you know. So you understand me, brother? Yeah, man, for real. Yeah, man. So we have to show our own that, yes, we are there. We are supporting collective things. Don't wait until we hear say a bridge and drop out and then we say, John, what some good work him did I do? And then all of us start to put up his picture and all of us mm. love him and all of us celebrate him. And when he is doing these things, they are not the one that we support. So sometimes you are trying to do positive things and you can't even get the financial strength. For real. And the person who are doing the negative things, they get in the millions of sponsorship yeah, to do them. nothing. <laughs> you understand? So, and then we pretend how much we love positiveness and love consciousness, and we love conscious youth, and want to see our kids become this. And at the end of the day, because so we have to learn in times that the kids don't listen to us now. You know, kids watch what we do. So stop telling yes. the kids yeah. to do something that you are not doing. Yeah, yeah man, for real. I want the parents to learn that, and it's coming from me as a parent, as a Rasta man, as an adult, as a man. You understand? Stop telling your kids to do this that you're not doing. Kids don't learn from listening. They learn from observing. Yes, I. Action speak loud and And then you turn around and blame the system. I don't know how my kids do this. I don't know how my kids end up doing that. I never tell. You never teach them that, but they were watching you doing it. Real thing. Real thing. You understand? Yes, sir. Yes, my brother. Rastafari. So these are the things. We have to make kids who support in positive things. Not only talk positive, but then we are live a negative life and expect that they will be positive. For real. You understand? Real so talk. The, the, yeah. So that's how we are saying to all the conscious people out there and the collective thinkers and the open mind people. Give thanks your love and support and keep fighting it. Good over evil, it never will stop. Remember that. Take a long journey, but it'll never stop. Yes, I. Um, drag your memory again. Zane and we have a forward in the present. Bojo Bantan, Bojo Bantan are the first bridge in um, bring you up and bring you on a tour. Yeah, till Shiloh. Yeah, man, big up the general, you know. Big up the real general. Yes, yeah, I yeah, don't know. Every time. Oh, man. But um since since them time there, you know what I mean, I hope of things happen and thing and but a few months from now, probably our next um two or three months from now, we are gonna see the eye and um the general agrees the the stage together, probably I think it's it in Holland or one of these places. In Amsterdam, yeah man. Seventh of July. Heineken musical. In Amsterdam. What 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 will it be now? You know, for for the eye, you know, for sheer stage again with you know a a a, a, a great bridging like that. Well, I mean, I tell you, amazing. It's one of the most exciting show for the year, and I got more than thirty five shows already right now. So and this one is more is what is more exciting. That's what I can say. You understand? Because <laughs> Bujibantan is like our new icon, you know. He's, he's the icon that we can talk about because we grew up watching Bojo Bantan as youth. Yes, you understand? I... Looking at it. We grew up in that era. You understand? Remember, that is the era that we grew up in when we were a schoolboy. It was Bojo Bantan time. Bojo Bantan, Cape Town. You understand? Shabarang, King Ninja Man. So, those were the artists that we were looking up to, listening to, learning to write music, learning to dance. You understand? So, yes, yeah, man. I... it's an honor, it's an honor, man. It's an honor. I'm happy, man. Very, very happy. You understand? So Remember, I, I and I say, free up the general. Free up the general. You understand? So, we give thanks, man. Give thanks, my brother. Every I'm time. a happy man. And I'm not happy for I and I, but I'm happy also that his family, you understand? 
get him back in their life and because I know what it is like, you know. Yes, sir. You, you understand? Yeah. You may do it from your kids a couple of months. You may know the feeling as a father. So you, you, you can know that feeling because he's not just an entertainer. He's a father. And True. Family man. And you understand? So sometimes many people don't remember that part of your life. You know? <laughs> yeah, you, man. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Yeah, that. You understand? So we miss you, but your kids, imagine how, how they feel and what they go through and the amount of explanation to them. Man. You understand? So we give thanks, man. Yes, Give sir. thanks, man. Sweet. It's a whole, you understand? long walk to freedom, and we are, I'm happy to be sharing the same stage with Bojabant and himself, you know. So, you yes, don't sir. know. Strength. Yes, sir. All right. Um, Manuel, you know, as, 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 as Rasta, you know, Africa is, 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 is very um, close to I and I art. What, what, what are your opinion on um, the reggae and dance I see now in, 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 um, in Africa right now? Well, the reggae and dancehall scene is strong and it has always been the pioneer music for a lot of the African music today that has become dominant and popular. So reggae is like a legendary music to Africa. Dancehall is like a legendary music because that's what inspires 90% of these African artists today. They will tell you that their inspiration is because of reggae and because of dancehall. You understand? So we give thanks and the music is strong. When you go to Africa, you're always 30,000, 20,000. So Africa is one of the most exciting places on planet Earth to perform. Not just because we are Rasta, because we are African heritage. You understand? But the African does have a different energy. You understand? For a performing artist like me, when I go to Africa, it's crazy, it's mad. <laughs> you understand? Mad, mad people run up and yeah, crazy energy, man. Africa is wonderful, man. You understand? If only Africa could get the chance to choose and lead and control their own destiny and their own wealth. You understand? And significant. Because it's terrible in Africa, my brother. For a, for a warrior like I and I, who's from the Rasta community with that passion for Africa, it's a different than just a dancehall artist go there and sing and do a show and come home. You understand? Because yeah. there is no, if Africa is not Zion, then where is Zion for I and I? For real, Ja. You understand? So if, if that is I and I woman, that's where Africa is the land where God loves to be. Ethiopia is the land of I and I father. You know? So <laughs> if that's the land where the God loves to be, it's the, we have to liberate Africa. And that's the liberation. So we give it up for the warriors in Uganda. And you don't know. Big up the ghetto president. Because we were with him 100%. You understand? We wasn't around in Como in Coma time, man. Joe McKenney at a time, but we are running this time. So the assistant and the hands that we can lend to our African leaders who is true fighting to liberate Africa, we are going to lend it. Rastafari, yeah, man, a strength. A whole bad thing would I love to talk to you about um, on this Africa topic still, but we have four more. We are about, what, we have five minutes left on the program, Zane. But um, there I put out a song recently, Zane. Nah. Now nah, buying a friend. Now nah, buying a friend, friend, right? Yeah, I'm on. Okay, all right. The 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 incident we see happening um in France, Zine. Uh African state, African um brother, African president from Guinea have given two million euro to France for the rebuilding of um the cathedral. Why, why have you upon that? Because it's funny how the eye that song you kind of come out in at this time and not buying a friend. Zane, why, why do I view upon that before I play the song? Well, I and I view upon Africa is no, no part of Africa is controlled by an African. And that is the fact. Rastafari. Right. You know, obviously, another word for it. Right. 